Hello there everyone, this is CG Fella here and a lot of you guys have been requesting me to make a video on how I make the eyes. So today we are going to do just that. In this video we are gonna learn how to create 2D eyes and patterns in Blender using just the shrink wrap modifier. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. For this video I will be using my polywag scene because it has a nice spiral in its belly which will help me demonstrate how flexible this method can be. The first thing that we are going to do is to make the belly. To do that, I will first go to solid view and hide this one. The first thing I am going to do is go to the add menu and add a plane. Now if you are wondering why I am adding a plane instead of a circle, it's because that circles have triangular fan geometry and they create issues when you try to subdivide them. And subdivision is really important for this trick to work. So I will take this in the front and add a subdivision surface modifier. This is the first step to add a subdivision surface modifier. Maybe level 3. Yes, level 3 looks good. I will also shade smooth it. Now one thing you have to make sure is that the render and viewport levels of your subdivision are same. Otherwise you are going to have some problems. The next step is to add a shrink wrap modifier. So add shrink wrap modifier to your spot and set the target to the subject's body. For in, in this case, it's the polywag body. Now when you do it, you will see that it completely goes haywire. To fix that, we are going to change the mode of the shrink wrap. So under the shrink wrap modifier, go to the mode and set it to project. You will see it get back, gets back to where it was. Now, what you have to do is press G to move it and Y to move it in only the Y direction Ah, this sticks so well. This is really cool. But you will also notice that it actually goes inside the model, which is not what we want. So we are just going to change the offset bit, maybe minus 0 0.3, and it looks pretty nice. Now I will position it properly. Yeah, this looks pretty good. But you will see that this is not completely round. To make it rounder, let's get it inside. I will make two loop cuts in it. Select these corner vertices and scale them down until they are perfectly round. Yes, perfect. This looks perfect. So, we have made the belly spot, but the problem is, if you try to render it, you will realize that this spot actually is a little bit floating and it will be visible when you try to render it. How to fix that? So, before fixing that, we have to know why it appears like that. No matter how close you go to the body, it will always appear floating. There are two reasons for it. Number one is the light which is reflecting inside the body and the spot. And number two is because the body will cast shadows on the spot and the spot will cast shadows on the body. Now to fix that, go to your spot, select your spot and go to the object properties panel. Under visibility, get rid of diffuse and shadow. Now it won't cast any shadows on it due to unchecking of the shadow and that we have checked, unchecked the diffuse, it won't even cause any re reflections. And with this, the spot is ready. So let's go to the rendered view. As you can see, you can't even tell that there's another object here. But if you turn on shadows, however, you will be able to see. I don't know if it's noticeable or not, but there is a little line of shadow which is visible here. So coming to the next part, we have the spiral. Now we're going to make the spiral. How to do that? I'm going to press shift A, go to curve, and add, where is it? Curve spirals. I'm going to add an Archimedean curve spiral. After that, I'll go to the top view. Let's see. We have one, two, 
3. We have 3 rounds. So, set the turns to 3 and radius growth. Increase it a bit. Maybe this much. Maybe a little more. Okay, this looks fine. After that, now this is just a curve, just a line, but we want a thick, thick material to actually make it visible. So to do that, I'm going to add a plane and give it two modifiers. Modifier number one is array modifier. So we have more than one plane, series of these planes. And number two is a curve modifier so that it follows the curve. And I'm going to select the curve here. As you can see, it already wraps around the curve. Maybe increase the number with more. I'm going to make the cube a little smaller. This, this looks good. Uh, it's too much. Maybe 70. 74 works really well. And I will apply both the modifiers and get rid of the curve. Also, add a subdivision surface to this. Uh, this happens because the vertices are not joined. To remove the double vertices, what you have to do is press M and by distance. Ah, we have a perfect geometry. Maybe say two. Now we are going to apply the same exact models to shrink wrap it to the body. First I will scale it down like so. And move it outward. I'm going to add a shrink wrap modifier and again set the body, project, and push it inside. Ah, this sticks so well. Change the offset to make it visible. It's going inside. It's finally visible. I think the subdivision is a bit too much. One looks well enough. I will position it a bit. Rotate it as per the model. Yeah, this looks really good. So we have completed the spy with. You have to turn off the diffuse and shadows for this one too. Don't forget that. So we have completed the spiral and the belly. Now the next part is adding the eyes. To do that, I will just copy this belly because it's already round and we want round eyes. So shift D and don't move it anywhere at the moment. Now what I prefer to do is keep the origin of the spot in the center of the model. And why I do that, you will see in a moment. So. I will select the body first, then shift S cursor to select it, which is already there, and then select the spot, shift S, uh, sorry, right click, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Now its origin is in the 3D cursor. What happens is if I rotate it by pressing R, R, free hand rotate, I will be able to slide it across the body now, because the center of uh, the pivot point is set at the origin. And it looks really good. So now to make the eyes, I'll get it here. Maybe go to the edit mode. Make it small. This looks pretty good. Shift D. Okay, sorry, I had to rotate. Yeah, perfect. This looks really good. Now I will again shift D it. Wait, am I in the object mode? I'm really sorry. I should be in the object mode while I do this. I rotate it a bit and shift D rotate to make the other eye.
yeah perfect now i'm going to add the details of the eyes so what do we have a white part a black part and a white part in the center shift d scale it down move it there. and then i'm going to change the offset so that it appears on top of the white part like so again shift d rotate and here shift d scale down change the offset so that it appears on top and duplicate it again perfect don't forget to shade smooth though yes as you can see the belly spots and the eyes are all complete all you have to do now is let me hide it all you have to do now is just add the materials and render so i will give this a white color to the white parts i will select all the white parts and then select finally the one i just gave the material to click ctrl l and click materials to link the materials now they all have the same material as you can see the white material this is going to be black almost black in color and this will be black as well but maybe a little different black again link materials and there we have it this is how i create eyes and spots using the shrink wrap modifier if you like this video then hit the thumbs up and if you want to see future videos like this then subscribe to cg fella and if you haven't already followed me on instagram i would recommend you do so because i post all sorts of my artworks there and i'm really active as well so if you have any queries or any questions you can just dm me and i will answer you as soon as i can so with that said i will see you next time